Dr. Rao, how was dyssynergic defecation diagnosed? So I think first and foremost, symptoms. Uh, symptoms of excessive difficulty with bowel movements, straining, hard stools, using digital maneuvers, usually they suggest that a patient has dyssynergic defecation. But we found through research that symptoms by themselves are poor predictors of dyssynergic defecation because patients with other kinds of constipation may also have similar overlapping symptoms. So in addition to symptoms, the next step is a carefully, methodically done digital rectal examination. And in one study, or in fact there are two studies now, a, a well done digital rectal examination has a specificity of 87% and a sensitivity of 85, 90% in diagnosing dyssynergic defecation. But a rectal exam is not the foolproof method, but it, on, at the bedside, it gives clues to the physician that it, the constipation may be because of an incoordinated bowel movement or dyssynergic defecation. But the real confirmatory test for dyssynergic defecation is anorectal manometry and balloon expulsion test. So what happens with these two tests, anorectal manometry, we place a special probe, which is a flexible, thin probe, uh, pencil thick with multiple pressure sensors and a balloon into the rectum. And this measures the strength of the muscles in the rectum and the anal region. So we ask the patient to push and bear down and we're looking at the pattern of pooping. A normal individual will generate a good push force in the rectum. At the same time, the anal muscle will relax. So that is a normal coordinated pattern. Patients with dyssynergia however, show a number of patterns, up to four, and some people have been described eight patterns where the things are not moving properly. Either they have very poor push force, or they are paradoxically squeezing, or they're not able to relax, or a combination of these. And that is a very good test of identifying the synergy, especially when you do this in the sitting position and have the patient attempt uh, to push and bear down in that position. Then the final complementary test that we find very useful is the balloon expulsion test. So we place a balloon in the rectum, fill it with about 50 ml of warm water, and give the patient privacy and a little stop clock. We step away from the patient and we have them push and bear down in private on a commode. If they can expel this balloon in less than a minute, then usually that is considered normal. Patients with dyssynergia may take more than a minute, and some people, even after five minutes of straining, will not be able to poop it up. So these tests are very useful. I mean, in recommendometry, rectal exam, as well as uh, a balloon expulsion test. In some situations, we tend to do two additional tests. One is called defecography. And defecography comprises of putting barium paste or liquid like paste into the rectum, have the patient sit on a commode, and then as they attempt to push and bear down, we take x-ray pictures. And this kind of reconstructs the whole mechanics of pooping. The act of pooping is kind of captured in real-time video to see how the rectum is behaving, how the anal muscles are behaving. Is there a blockage? Is there a bulge that is the rectocele? Or is there some prolapse internally? Or more importantly, are the muscles synced in properly to evacuate stool or not? So we can pick this up. And then the other tests we do complementary is a colon transit study where we measure the speed uh, in the colon. Two thirds of patients with dyssynergic defecation have a slow transit. Makes sense because if your outlet is blocked, you're not pooping efficiently, you're going to have a backlog of stool and you will store stool. And that's what we find. And so that helps. So we have to manage them in both softening the stool, emptying the stool, and in coordinating the stool ultimately in their management. So what these tests do really is they help to refine and define the problem. So the tests usually are anorectal manometry, balloon expulsion test, and defecography as a complementary test.